June 15th and we're at the OB and I'm hoping this is the last one. We're gonna get a swab, check on baby, and um, I'm gonna find out when she's coming out of me. So we'll see. I just bought a raspberry refresher. I don't know if it's doing anything for me. And I'm starving. We're going through it. Oh, Baba's lopsided, but whatever. Baby time. 37 weeks. Moving. Almost there. So I was in there joking around only for her to tell me. Well, I wasn't really joking around. I was just saying, you know, she's monitoring me and stuff like that. Only for her to come in and tell me that, you know, my blood pressure was a little bit high and she's literally sending me to the hospital right now. I have nothing on me. Literally coming fresh off of the night shift at work. Haven't even showered. Stressed out. I mean, mainly stressed because she's sending me to, to the hospital now. I wanted to shower and I wanted to do something to my hair. Now I can't even eat because now I'm so anxious and she said to eat and then take the blood pressure medication. And this the whole thing started because I was at work last night, left my job and came straight here because I forgot to set a reminder to take the blood pressure medicine. But you know, like whatever, it, it works out how it works out. So because I didn't take the medication, like my blood pressure appeared high. But she's like, Sin, I don't know if it's just high because you didn't take the medication or because this is the early stages of preeclampsia. Either way, I'm sending you to the hospital. She doesn't trust me to go home and get my bag. She thinks it's going to take me hours because I guess she sent patients home before. And they they went in like the afternoon right now. It's 10.03 a.m. I'm freaking out. Literally. <laughs> it's getting insane the hospital <laughs> baby is definitely coming today <sighs> so I ate oh, my turn I'm now realizing that I didn't even come back on here right now it's 12.05 and I'm all hooked up and everything being monitored she's moving around a lot um, everybody's on their way well, not everybody. Dad is on his way, and um, I think Jules is going to be coming by too, just a little bit later. But we're just laying down, being monitored right now. That's all. One centimeter. I feel okay. It's twelve fifty-one. We have not started the pitocin yet. Just on fluids right now. Laying down and trying to relax. I'm so. I feel like overstimulated and kind of. Um, overwhelmed because I didn't expect her today. I'm here by myself for now. But, um, yeah. So, it's currently 1.09 p.m. and we started the Pitocin about five minutes ago. She said she's starting small and then we'll progress as we go along, but so far I feel fine. So, we're gonna see. All of this started sometime after 10. It's 1 p.m. and I'm just getting Pitocin, but I wasn't in pain or anything the entire time. So, we'll see. Hopefully, baby makes her entrance really quick. It's 1.32 p.m. She just went up a little bit more on the Pitocin. Um, I still feel fine. She said baby is looking good. They haven't checked me yet since I got checked at Dr. Shim's office. But she said baby is looking fine and I'm doing fine. So we're just here relaxing. Um, yeah, it's chilly. I don't know what I expected the process to be like. But so far, I'm not saying it's not going to get bad. But so far, it's okay. I'm managing. That was going to be the hospital ice for me. So good right now. It's 146. And we're still, we're still just going. Peeing on a bedpan is the weirdest sensation in life. My whole butt is wet. <laughs> mm -mm, I don't like this at all. <laughs> 
I slept for about an hour right now. It's 4.39 p.m. And my doctor just came and broke my water. Baby should come soon. I'm glad that I was able to sleep for an hour though, but I hope she comes soon. Breaking the water was not great. It was not the worst thing in life, but it was not great. Definitely yours. Your bent match. <laughs> She's quite the talker. I'm gonna show her to you. And then, oh, oh look at hi, Robert. Say hi. Oh. Oh, you're right on your skin. Oh, 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 oh. Is she your first baby, mommy? It's almost like she needs preemie, preemie clothes. Hi, Mia. Hello, my love. I know this little knee was skinny. She's how much? And you're gonna control her head. Good job! Mm -hmm. Yeah! She's hungry. <laughs> she went for it! Yeah. You see how she's got that nice little fish lip? Mm -hmm. That's perfect mm -hmm. latch. What a lot of temptation is, is to do like this because we think that the baby's going to so her is not going to yeah. breathe. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. She can breathe. If she can't breathe, she's going to go like this. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Resist the temptation to go like this. Oh, okay. You see there's this little triangle that's made right here. Look what happens to my, when I put my nose to my, you see how right here? Yeah, yeah. It, it kind of flares out. Mm -hmm. And I can still breathe. She can too. Oh, hi. Hi, friend. Get that in there, girlfriend. You shouldn't hear any like, like slurps. Mm -hmm. Although that means she's not got a good latch. Now, there you go. Perfect, just like that. I mean, like, that's not even an attempt. That's an actual, actual do. Yeah. She did the thing. Oh, honey, baby. Okay. I'm gonna leave her like this with you. Let her stay there as long as you want. Today, 
for the next 24 hours, don't worry about the timing stuff where, oh, 15 minutes on each side. Let her stay wherever she wants to for as long as she wants. All that timing stuff comes in the next couple of days. The best thing to do is let her breastfeed. That's gonna bring your milk supply in. Mm -hmm. I understand that you're, you're okay with um, supplementing with formula. Um, try to breastfeed as much as possible, but if you I want to, to for sure, but yeah. But if you need to use formula, you were the one okay. who came in earlier and, and showed me the bottles. No, and said, yeah, she was basically saying if it's okay to give her for now. Yeah, yeah. It, there is absolutely no shame in giving your baby a bottle if she needs it. Okay, um, but. If you're going to want a healthy supply of milk, no. let her um, graze as much as she wants to, okay? Um, and it looks like you guys already know what you're doing. You don't even really need me. I'm going to put this under your arm for support so that yeah. you're not... There you go. Is that better? Is your head okay? Yeah. She's perfect. Beautiful. Um, also, her color might change in the next month or so. Okay, so she's nice and pink right now. You and Daddy are are uh, very melanated. Yeah. <laughs> um, I my son was born very red. My husband is native Mexican Indian. Uh, over the next couple months, he became very brown. Mm -hmm. So um, it'll change. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm in love. She's so cute. She's so cute. I'm going to come back and check on you guys and, yeah. and check on her in a little bit. But you still have your primary nurse. Okay? Who's taking care of you? That okay. again? I said, I'll come in periodically to check oh, on her. Oh, and then there's... Yeah. Okay. But you still have your nurses checking on you, okay? Mm. Do you have any questions? No. No, not right now. You look so happy. Uh, Get lots of those so pictures. Happy. Still <laughs> shots. <laughs> photos. Photo oh. shoot galore. Hi, baby. The picture looked so much bigger. You took it close. The, the picture? Yeah. No, wait, I have, they took the picture. Oh. Yeah, they took the phone in the room. I couldn't go in the room. Which room? Oh, that she was in. That she, uh, when I had the C-section. And the other room too, yeah. It's been. I can't remember how many hours since I had her. Maybe eight hours. That we're trying breastfeeding. She's not getting no milk. The milk didn't come in yet. It's starting to come in, but. Still giving her something.